Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to use and install factions. Plugin is really famous and it's pretty much a plugin that allows players to create their own clans or groups and allows them to keep building on. It creates a competitive atmosphere for your server. So this is a really good plugin. I would say it's a must have plugin for any server. And what you're going to need is the most recent version of Craft Bucket, which is this version here. You can find this version in the description. Now we're going to download factions by clicking this button right here. And you can click it again. And drag it to your plugins folder of your Minecraft server. Once you've got it in there, restart your server. Alright, so now that our server is loaded, you can see that it created a new folder already called lib. You can ignore that, you don't have to worry about it. And a new folder called factions. If you open it up, you'll see three things. You can right click to edit this with notepad++, but there's nothing much to edit there. You can leave it as it is. So if you go back, You'll notice if you click on the user guide and you scroll all the way down until you see the permissions. Alright, so here they are. And you're going to have to give these permissions to the players that you want or to the groups that you want to have and create factions and manage them and all that stuff. So this would be a good permission to give to your default players and you can mess around and put the permissions in any way you want to but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to give them this one permission I recommend giving more but this is all I'm going to do for right now you guys can spend some time doing that and we can add it by hitting enter backspace all the way back and use spaces to line it up and paste it in and there you go hit save go back and now you can stop this and restart your server to load up that new permission or permissions depending on how much you put in so now we're gonna head on Minecraft now that we are on here to see all the commands that you can type you can type slash f help now to create a faction you're gonna type slash f create so this is the first thing you have to do is create a faction and then the name of your faction which will be the name of the group that your players will represent when they create a faction. So I'm going to create a faction called Uno, and now we can give it a description by typing slash F D E S C space, and now type in our description. You can type in whatever you want as long as you want. We're just going to type in something simple. We are the most bravest and fearless players on this server alright there we go now we can invite a player into our faction by typing slash F invite then the name of that player alright I've got another launcher with a player on it running and now I'm going to invite the player Jimmy James Okay, it said we invited him. So on Jimmy James's screen, he'll get a notification from Numero Uno Baby inviting him to join the faction. And also, every time that, once you're in a faction, every time you type, the faction name will appear next to your name in the chat. So we can accept this by typing in slash F, join, then the name of that clan. But you have to get an invite first. 
Alright, we've joined Uno. And you can do slash F list to view all of the players in your faction. See, there's two players in the Uno faction. Alright, so now I'm back on Numero Uno Baby screen. And now some other useful commands are slash F open. This will make your invitation open to where your faction is pretty much public and players don't have to be invited to join your faction. Alright, so now it's open. Now anyone can just join by typing slash F, join it in the faction name without an invite. You can type slash F power to see how much power your faction has. Since I am an admin, I have 10 power. 10 out of 10. That determines how much you can claim, how much land your faction can claim. And you can get more power by being on the server. And having power can determine how much land you can claim. And claim land cannot be destroyed by other players outside of the faction. So now to claim land, you can type slash F claim. Now you've claimed land for your faction. Um, so make sure you have that permission given to the players if you want them to claim land, which you should give them that. You can also do slash F auto claim, and that will claim land as you walk. So I am auto claiming land right now. And if I do just by itself slash F claim, that will only claim land where I'm standing at. So auto claim will claim land that I'm walking around. Now type slash F auto claim to turn that off. Okay, and as a member of a faction, I can see how much claimed land or territory that my faction has by typing slash F map. Alright, now this is a little bit complicated. If you understand that, then you can take a look at that. But otherwise, you don't really have to worry about it. I mean, as you walk on, you'll see that the clan name and description pops up as you walk in the territory of claimed land. And now I'm going to set this place as my faction home by typing slash f set home alright I'm not standing in my territory but I'm gonna claim this land right now and make it my territory so I can set my home okay now I've set my home anyone in your faction as a member can now use this command slash f home and they'll be teleported to their faction home. So this is useful if your clan has a secret base and any clan member can type that command in now. So that comes in handy. And you can give your leadership powers to another player by typing slash F leader and then the name of the player that you want to give leadership to. So if I wanted to give leadership to Jimmy James, I just type my, his name after this command here so like this but I want to stay a leader so I'm not going to do that but I, what I can give him if he's important I can give him slash officer slash F officer and I'll give him officer commands and rights so if I type that in I have promoted him to officer and by typing the same command we can remove him as officer and a fun little command that makes your faction groups cool and allows your faction to have ranks and, and ranks and titles is by typing slash F title and type in the name of the player you want to give a title to you can give him the title um anything you want really let's I can give him the noob title so like he's new to the faction but you can do whatever you want that's just for fun and it's a good command now some really cool commands are you can make other factions your allies a neutral faction 
or an enemy by typing in slash F ally and then the name of that faction you want to make an ally or you want to be an ally with same goes for neutral and the faction name and same goes for enemy so you get that idea now we're gonna go into the whole money system that the faction has you can donate money to your own faction donate money to another faction or withdraw money from your faction of course you're gonna need a an economy plugin for this but if you take a look here on the commands page you'll see that you can check your balance with this command here and this command will allow you to deposit money to your faction bank this command will allow you to withdraw money from your faction bank and this command will allow you to transfer money to a different faction from your faction and now if you have op rights you can create a war zone and a safe zone safe zone meaning any players in there PvP is pretty much not allowed and Warzone meaning PvP is allowed in that area now to do this you have to type slash F admin on now I have admin bypass mode and I can destroy any blocks in any factions territory and set the safe zone and Warzone territories so I can do this by typing in slash F claim safe zone. Now I've just made this territory a safe zone. Alright. You can also change the radius by typing in a number after that. Like me I typed in 5 so within a radius of 5 feet I made the safe zone. Alright you can do the same for war zone by typing war zone at the end of that and you can create your war zone like that and now I will show you how to kick a player it's simple you just type slash F kick and the name of that player I'm gonna kick Jimmy James from my faction and he's been kicked unfortunately I'm sorry Jimmy James too bad he's not real but and now to end this video I'm gonna delete my faction by typing slash slash f leave since I'm the owner faction's gone and uno faction was disbanded but on the bright side I just showed you how to use all the basic commands and now your players can have some fun with this plugin and so can you so if you enjoyed this video and this video helped subscribe and give it a like